uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just get straight into the video. <laughs> So how's it going everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another Dead Frontier video. So guys, listen, 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 listen. I was reading some comments on my other update video and there were some people saying, I don't understand what he's saying. Can someone please translate for me? So this is going to be two parts, all right? So the first part is going to be obviously in English and the second part will be in Spanish. So yeah, uh, both English and Spanish will be uh, covered in the story of the updates. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the updates. So guys, I gotta give a huge shout out to Reverence, and you know, like I said, Discord server, people give you the updates of what's going on, because I've been busy so far this month, so I haven't been able to catch up on the updates, but thank you Reverence, uh, you're doing great, I appreciate you, I even put it there, you beast you. <laughs> so yeah, let's just click on this right now. So as you guys know, I don't know how legit this is, alright, but we're getting a big update for Death Frontier 3D very soon, and Clayton has been working on a lot of weapons, so overall, this looks very very cool i'm not this this looks cool man i mean look at that look at the designs man oof but uh yeah i mean we got the inquisitor that thing just looks so freaking bad it looks like something out of a freaking medieval game i'm not gonna lie to you it, it kind of does it, it does <laughs> but it, it's a cool design i ain't gonna hate on it it's a cool cool design Second thing is the Shark Tooth ri uh, Ripper. So we have the Shark Tooth from the previous uh, Elite items, I guess you can call them. But this just looks something out of like Doom. <laughs> it really does. It, it looks like something you put on your head. Well, it'd be cool if they did that if it was meant for your hand and you can see it on like on like your character in the inner city just like doing. Oh crap! I hit the mic. I'm sorry about that. You see the character in the inner city just going like this, like just punching and then getting grinding these zombies close to freaking pulp. But it, that'd be awesome. After but yeah, it, it just looks great. Good job in that. Next thing is the Rhea. 55. I'm gonna say that is such a nice sounding freaking uh, name for a weapon. So, Rhea 55, obviously, I know I said it looks like a crafted weapon, but it looks like I just realized they're all craftable, so you just gotta find these items. But it uses 0.55, 18 round capacity. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's a revolver, but with an extended mag. <laughs> slow attack speed, slow reload speed, but damage on that 7. What is it? 49.3 so you know we're talking serious serious business i mean if we were to compare it to a freaking s tusk enforcer or actually no I i'm messing up there the x dawn or the dawn enforcer uh this does 66 damage per second or where's the per head 35 per head and this thing is averaging 49.3 so yeah these zombies that are coming out name no games played over there we're gonna have to have some serious firepower if now we're gonna be having a very bad time over there but we need this revolver because it does 49 damage a hit oh god that's crazy <laughs> next up is the qr22 obsidian i point the five again 22 round capacity i'm just loving the designs of the weapons whoever came up with this good job this is this is looking nice fast release uh, reload speed because obviously not a revolver you just you know keep it rocking average attack speed average accuracy 120 uh skill, pistol skill required and a high critical chance so you're gonna need around 112 11 uh critical hit for this so i'm gonna have to reset my stats if i ever want one of these weapons but yeah, I don't think I am though, but so because you know, I, I just don't have the time to find these weapons. So if you guys want to lend it to me, that'd be great. <laughs> and like I said, 34 damage per hit, 35. And looking up Dawn Forcer, that's literally a way better Dawn Forcer. So already you have a weapon that's gonna put that weapon to obsolete. Yeah, one of the biggest problems we have, but hey, we need new stuff. I get it, Ammon, and these zombies are no freaking game. They're gonna come after us, they're gonna probably one hit us if we're not careful, so ooh, I'm getting freaking chippers right goosebumps. Now this is the one I'm talking about, the Rush Hound, Ru Rust, no, Rust Hound 37E. Look at that, look at that beast. God, let me put another image. Uh, 14mm rifle ammo, 25 round capacity, slow reload speed, very slow attack speed, so like a long shot. So this thing does 97 freaking damage a hit. And if we compare it to Dawn Carbine, this does 59, and of course we have an x gram which is 87. So already this weapon is another league on its own. It, it, it is. So yeah, I, like I said, you guys, are we're, we're dealing against a, a new enemy that we just have to really focus on not dying to <laughs> uh gaw bl1n it's a shotgun 30 round capacity a fast reload speed i'm not really much into shotguns because they just make too much aggro and for me i like just focusing on one point uh specific shot rather than a spread but i know people are fans of it 
like I said, these weapons are a whole new league, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be overpowered as hell. But it has elemental effect, AP rounds, armor piercing rounds, so I'm pretty sure it can go to uh, zombies. So this is what I'm going to like about these weapons. I forgot to mention they all have, most of them have elemental effects, even the Rust Hound. But yeah, this is using, this is using 10 gauge uh, ammo. It does 49.75 damage a second. Uh, it also does 133.2 damage uh, per hit. So yeah, if you land all those pellets in one zombie, it's gonna be a bad day for them. Heat Pit 75, another, I guess you can say SMG. This is an SMG if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, SMG. So 75 round capacity, each hit does 24.8. So you're almost nearing territory of the dawn. Not really, but you're really close. I mean, my X Dusk Enforcer is pretty crap at this point. This thing is doing way more damage than it. <laughs> it, it it's just true, man. It, it, it's true, it, it is what it is though, it, it, it is what it is next up is the a10 bull shark god dang dude how much another machine gun 14 millimeter rifle ammo 60 round capacity just just look at that look at that thing it's it's a menace <laughs> it is and very fast attack speed very low accuracy but what i'm looking at right now is the damage bread look at that 51 damage a tick are you kidding me like i said the, the, the strongest weapon we have right now is the Dawn Enforcer. Yeah, the, the Dawn Enforcer. I mean, 35.5, and this thing is doing it 51 damage per hit. 35 damage per hit, 51 damage per hit. So you do the math. I mean, it has pretty much very low at critical chance, which is understandable. Right, we don't want a weapon that's doing triple the damage of a Wraith Cannon. We don't want that, but just knowing that this is a regular hit on this weapon is insane. Yes, you can argue that the other one has critical hit, but just just, just say, okay? I never thought I'd see a day where a some machine gun or assault rifle will be, you know, doing, if not, a little bit better than a regular pistol. And again, armor piercer rounds. Now, this is the one that I'm very curious. The Tempest. The Tempest. 14 millimeter rifle ammo, 300 round capacity, slow reload speed, effing fast attack speed, ultra low accuracy, very low minigun critical chance so yeah i mean there's not much more after that uh talk about but again hits damage per hit we're going to the wraith cannon obviously we have to have to talk about it so here it is the wraith cannon i mean i, I hope it doesn't do more than the wraith cannon because that would be very crappy okay it cannot it cannot reach wraith cannon status because i'll piss people off so good job neil or clayton whoever designed these uh, it does 8.6 damage per hit wraith cannon does around well pretty much the same thing obviously the wraith cannon has three this one has 9.86 times 4, so again, it's nowhere near that close to the Wraith Cannon. So again, to those Wraith Cannon people, breathe a little easier. This has less pellets, but yeah, I mean, they do the same damage. So it's up to you if you guys want this one. This is 14 millimeter rifle ammo. It's a cool design. It looks like something out of, a, I guess you could say, Dead Space, but it's overall cool design. Uh, I, like I said, we have to craft these. So, like, so if you guys are willing to help me review these weapons in the future, please, I love you guys. Mwah, please, let me just borrow them for a little bit. <laughs> and I'll give you guys, you know, freaking... Uh, uh, credit in the video but yeah look at that this thing is just a monster god what a monster of a weapon then we have the scorcher nk19 explosive damage 50 round capacity fast attack speed average accuracy zero critical chance 120 uh, that is supposed to get required 34.6 damage all right so yeah uh, again we're going to the you know to the recent explosive we have right now Dawn launcher to 73 damage per hit. So it's overall not that good, but I was gonna make up for it. It's the fast attack speed. So you guys choose your poison, all right? This thing does 104, all right? This thing does 94. So overall, it's not really that best. It's probably second tier at best or first, if anything. But if it's made for the new um, wastelands and how bad can it really be, right? We just don't know until we try it. Fast attack speed, average accuracy. If it had a critical chance, hey yo, hey yo, come on, I mean, just, just hey, give, give us a little bit of critical chance. Come on. Then we have the Hellstorm C12. What is this? It's a rifle skill, all right? Burst fire? Who knows? But 28 round capacity, slow reload speed, very slow attack speed. So it's pretty much in a long shot. Does 96. So again, another beast of a weapon. But the best part is this. Slow zombies by 5%. No effect on human target. Duh. But it slows the zombies for 5%. So if you shoot a zombie, it's going to slow down for 5 seconds. I wish it could be a little bit more. You know me, I, I like, you know, something to kind of last on a zombie, especially something like this. But uh yeah uh, it has the slow zombie effect i don't know what you guys think this is obviously going to be the most expensive weapon as of date when it comes out uh finding the items are probably going to be hard in the freaking new wasteland but overall you know we're here for the challenge all right we really are but the hellstorm looks beast they don't have an image of it yet i don't know if i'm they just haven't found it but I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna look sick. It's gonna look like a freaking, I don't know, laser with sniper rifle or a freaking, I forgot what you call it, a rail gun. It's probably gonna look like a rail gun. There you go. But, ooh, looking good. 
And of course, these I'm not really that interested about, but yeah, still new implants, and we have a new Neurotonin 5A. So, again, the lore is the, the zombies have mutated above and beyond from what we currently see, and yeah, it, it's just a new area, it's a whole new area that they found, and yeah, the zombie series are just insane. But before I end this video, let's talk about the Dawn implant. So, 10% speed gain, 10% damage inflicted, 3% movement speed. Uh, cannot be used with excess uh The insurance is variable, so this is pretty much a beast of an implant if you want to use it. I, for one, am not a huge fan of those, but if I want to reach your level 3 to 25 one day, <laughs> never going to happen. But one day, you never know, uh, I'm going to want one of these. And then we have the Volatile implant. We're going to have to kill the Volatile. You guys know how that goes. But 5% uh, damage inflicted, 5% incoming damage reduction. So, yeah, I think I cover most of everything. So, yeah, I, I think I cover most of it. Uh, yeah, li like I said, I'm, I'm pretty much excited for these weapons it looked nice it looked tough i just wish they could kind of like polish up the design just a little bit more to make it look sexier like 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 these old you know weapon designs from back then you know this for example this thing something something like this it just looks clean all right i don't know i mean we gotta we gotta be happy with what we got it is the wastelands but a bigger and more brutal area of the wastelands uh it's just gonna be nothing that we've ever seen before hell there's so much aggro on the screen the mini map can't even see it anymore until you get clear most of the aggro so <laughs> the crows are back too <laughs> but uh yeah tell me what you guys think uh i don't know how much i didn't want to do because i just want to focus on the freaking topic i have but yeah sermon is sending out like i said this just looks amazing it, it really does it, it looks fantastic but i'm excited I, july 14 can't come any sooner so yeah i'm sending out see you guys in the next one take it easy bye